All right, guys, uh, I have some unfortunate news. Whoever's been watching the videos and uh, or coming to the shop, my years has not been around for approximately three weeks, four weeks. Um, sadly, I was driving it and the uh, car started shaking and I immediately felt the engine misfiring. So I uh, pulled over, turned it off, turned it back on, it was okay, and then it started shaking again. So uh, right off the bat, I knew something was going on with the engine. And um, sadly, my cylinder eight has a pretty bad misfire situation and it is not going away with anything we've been trying to do. Uh, we did a compression leak down test and um, all the other cylinders were good. That one was low on PSI and um, obviously means something's going on with that cylinder mechanically, um, either the valve or the piston, whatever. These engines are very hard to work on as far as opening them up and trying to fix things. So I am going to be replacing my engine. Right here on the floor, well, on this little pallet here, uh, we have a Eurus engine. This is off a 23 model with 10,000 miles in my years is a 2019 uh, so this is a newer engine we're going to be replacing the entire engine and uh, bringing back my car to life because everybody's telling me get rid of it or whatever i can't i'm i love that car it's the only car i want to drive it's the only car i really enjoy so i plan on keeping it for long term and the uh, best thing for me to do is swap out the engine so we're going to be taking mine out and replacing it and then trashing that engine um, it is what it is. We do not want to open this thing and deal with the valves and all that stuff. It's a giant headache. Maybe we'll do like a rebuild series, show you guys what's going on. But I mean, this is like a two, three day job right now. My car is at the dealer. Um, it was finished getting diagnosed. So I got to bring it here and, uh, work on it. So yeah, we'll see what happens. The last, the last time you say they can pick up the car, the car stay here for three more days. They never <laughs> pick up the car. They're coming, they're running. They're running. Why are you fucking mentiroso? They're running. Oh, oh. Mentiroso, man. What? what are you up to? Nah, not today. You're always doing that thing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I hate my life. No, you don't say that. No, I love my life. Yeah. Like that? Positive. Hey, dos veces. Si vas a hacerlo, it's two times. Oh, you missed. What is this, for the Mustang? Yeah, for this. Pero estaba viendo que el color no... No match the color. El color no... Oh, es que tiene polvo. Mira. There's dust. <laughs> All right, you guys, tow truck is here, right behind us. And they are here for this car that we are test driving right now. It has to be a test drive. We need to make sure that it's good. So far, so good. Automatic suspension lift, beautiful. Okay, it's normal. This is the one that we did the water pump, the uh, thermostat and housing, couple of the hoses as well. Um, this car had a temperature issue. It's good now. Shop phone's ringing, nobody's answering. I don't get it. Uh, somebody answered now. What will you stop reception? So the story with this car is this car was at another shop. They couldn't take out the body kit to do the water pump. They had a hard time. They said that if they do, they were going to damage the parts on the car. So I said, bring it to the people who have built the kit. Let us do it. So car came in. We took the flares off without any damage, not one scratch. And we had to take the front bumper off as well to get to the water pump and the mechanical repairs. Finished everything, put everything back, nice and smooth. The car is back in one piece. Test drive is good. I like it. Car feels great. Customer is going to be very happy. And the icing on the cake is we gave the customer a better price too. Back to the shop. You guys are going to see the tow truck right now. 
this tow truck driver is the funniest person in the world. He's probably yelling already. Where's the car? I just saw you. Yeah, I told you guys get the car ready. I can't wait. Calm the f down. It's not that serious. All right, guys, we are standing in front of this amazing looking brand new Porsche Turbo S. <laughs> This is a paint to sample color. Paint to sample color is uh, basically an option from Porsche. If you're lucky enough to have that option, you could do any paint color you want. Here we have an olive green example, beautiful car. This resembles almost that color that we used to wrap a lot. The Inozatec green, the army green from them, where we did the McLaren, we did an Aventador, we've done a lot of cars. And this is very close to that, but obviously paint, which is better. Uh, but it also has like a khaki green tone to it so i really like this color one of my favorite colors honestly interior is like a saddle brown so perfect combination it's got hres on it already uh but yeah what we're gonna do here at rdb is we're gonna take apart this vehicle to get to all the shiny black parts meaning you see the front bumper right here all this shiny black the side skirt has shiny black under it the diffuser has black under it uh, and the top wing blade is also black this customer wants to paint it to the special PTS color olive green. So we're gonna have uh, our work cut out for us on color matching because these are very, very hard to color match. They're not your typical regular Porsche standard colors. So we're gonna have to color match it real nice, um, especially the back because it's gonna be very obvious and the sides. So all this is coming off right now. John is taking off the side skirt right there. Cool thing about Porsches is their side skirt rocker panels are one piece built into the car. And uh, what he's taking off is just the trim that goes on top of it. We're also gonna do a paint protection film on the entire front end while we're at it. So you don't see too many Porsches on RDB, but when you do, they're very special and this is gonna look really nice. <laughs> Can I have that hook for free? Uh, no. <laughs> Let me just have that hook. I'll give you 50 bucks. I can't. I can't. 50 bucks? I'll get in trouble, he said. I'm just joking. 100 bucks. Need more red. Some more red. Alright, that's enough red. See, it says red. Two different types of body kits. One has a red sticker on it, and the other one has some other sticker on it. <laughs> So we are unloading two body kits right now from 1016 Industries. Uh, we got a Range Rover wide body kit and we have the first official Rolls Royce Spectre kit in black badge carbon. So we're very excited about that. We're going to be uh, taking it all out. Um, yeah, we're a little bit screwed at the shop because we have at least seven or eight body kit cars to do and we have no more room. That's it, we're done? Yeah, that was easy. Yeah, it was easy. We had 15 people lifting it. Oh. <laughs> He's like, that's it, that was easy. Look at all the parts. Oh, okay. that's it. That's it. it looked more than what it was. No, in there was more parts. Don't you remember? Oh, oh my back. Oh. oh, I'm sorry, man. Are you a cop? Protect and serve. Let's go get something to eat. Hungry. Be careful, it's carbon, okay? Everything is carbon on this. Jeez. That's big. That's what she said. That's what she says. Uh-huh. <laughs> Damn, this is huge, man. <laughs> what is this? This is a Spectre rocker panel. Spectre Did you realize this is big? It is. It's so f***ing way big. What? Oh, it's like that. It's like that, man. Okay, so this is the... I don't even know what's the front or back, but... This is the world's first... Spectre okay. kit from 1016 this Industries. And Luis is acting like he knows what he's doing. But um, black badge carbon fiber right here. Nobody has this except here at RDB right now. So this is going on a Spectre. Uh, we have a lot more parts, all made out of black badge carbon. So really impressive. It's going to be really cool. This is for the license plate. <laughs> Actually, we have a Spectre here. I can try it. This is uh, this basically goes right under the headlight on the Spectre. Again, black badge carbon. There's a front lip. There's a rear diffuser. There's two of these. There's two of those. I don't know what else there is. 
Oh, trunk, Wee. trunk and roof, yeah. Wee. Yeah, we. The talk of the weekend was the new Bugatti, the Tourbillon. A lot of you guys saw me drive the first one on my Instagram. Uh, it has gullwing doors, which we don't see on Bugattis. Fuck, man. Uh, 1800 horsepower. So no more turbo for Bugatti. I mean, I used to love the Veyron, how it sounds. It sounds like an airplane, but this is going to be entirely different. Like, how fast is that screen going to break? That's a lot know. of money, man, yes. for a car.